Today I'm changing the clutch pedal on my Ford Focus. There is a spring on it that I'll show you with the new part that is be that is broken and it's hard to go in there and put the clutch on. So I have to first remove this plastic cover from here. Uh, there's a screw here and then you just pull it out. And then I think I should remove these to access one bolt up here. It has three bolts which are fairly down here one is for example here two and three and then one is really up so it's better if you take this one out and then you could somehow access so i'll show you what has happened to this paddle and what how does the new one looks like so if you want to change the clutch pedal because this goes down when i drive and then it doesn't come up all the way right now it is coming up but then it goes down it stays there and i have to pull it up and it's really annoying so i'll fix that right now and i'll show you what you can do now the old one it had one screw here one two three and four this one is really hard to get if you don't want to remove all the plastics but the recommended is you remove it otherwise you put your hand in all the way up and then loosen it and then you can do it with your hand so the problem with this one was there is a yeah, there is a spring here that goes from here down and then yeah there is a spring that comes from here and then it fixes here so the spring broke down but then we tried to put the new spring in while this was inside there is a small notch here and then this plastic we broke it so we have to kind of change it but the new one has this hook and this spring was there but when i ordered it from the used shop this one was not there but luckily i bought already the springs from the ford this was a bit tricky to change sorry i couldn't show you because i was too busy with this one so on the tip is put this first and then press the paddle all the way up all the way down and then put this yellow thing first on the hooks on the sides and then try to press this one against this notch if you do it other way if you put this side first and try to press from here it will so i have a friend who's a mechanic he has helped me with this so when we were removing it we have to cut this one out so that this comes more out so we have more space but the most tricky one is to take out this one so you have to have a pulley grip and then you have to turn this one so you see there is a notch here and then there's a notch here it goes in with this notch but then you have to move it so that it tightens and then you have to put the screws and then that spring you see there that was broken um, so with this new pedal i bought the new pedal because the notch on the top was broken so now this spring is in these bolts are in the one the bolt that is all the way on the top you cannot access it from here but you have to go under and access it somehow from here and that's how you change it and then there is this uh, uh, this thing this thing that actually presses the clutch this goes in here there's a notch i will show you on the old pedal but this notch goes here so this notch goes here and it was really difficult for him to take it out so he did made a cut here that i will show with the old one and then he took it out but it's a clip that goes in here let's see if we can see so this one this rod that you see here this goes in here all the way so this was difficult to take out because you cannot press it so he had to make a cut here to take it out and yeah that is the spring if the spring is broken maybe you can put your hand in and somehow put it up but if you have an excess second story that i was telling you i have only removed uh this one this plastic piece here but if you can somehow remove this one i don't know how or if you should try it or not but if you have excess from here for the top board it will be really easy so let's look at the old one so the rod the the one that comes from the cylinder that comes here and then it goes in here the notch and it was really difficult to press it from both sides there's a hole on this side and there's a hole on this side and it was really difficult to press 
from it, it from both sides. It, it can be pressed from both sides. It was really difficult to press it to take it out. So then we have to make a cut here. We did cut here so that it comes out. And then we made a cut here so there's a place to take it out. But this is not usable anymore. So yeah. Ford cars are shitty. They want to stay away from Ford cars. So, so now you see the clutch works fine. When I press, it comes back. So previously it was sticking because there was no spring. Now there is spring. Some of this, if this happens to you, you have two, three, four choices. For example, if the spring is broken, the main spring, then either you can go in and only change the spring. There is a guy who has made a really nice video where he's only changing the spring. I can also add a link. But then if you want to change the whole pedal, then try to open as much as you can so that you have access to boards, four boards, and then you have to take out the master cylinder from the pedal. And then uh, it is really hard, I would say, to go in here and do that. Cut out this if you don't have proper tools. You need to cut the plastic to take that out. And remember not to damage the the actual cylinder uh, plastic. Because if that happens, then you're screwed. Because then you have to open the cylinder thing also from the front. Remove the battery. Access it. Remove it. Bleed it. So be very careful because that is also plastic. That is why I hate Ford. The plastic things and the things that keep on breaking so if you have questions ask me and good luck with changing the clutch pedal see you in another video bye